Giuliano here and welcome to my kitchen. In fact, welcome to my new oven range, which I'm showing off because I am so incredibly proud and excited about it. So for some of you that watched uh, my earlier videos, you probably saw in the background this enormous oven that I used to have. It was a wolf range. It was circa 1970. It was like this old restaurant mass. I, we used to call it the beast. And it was broken, basically. I cooked on a broken oven for many years because I couldn't bear to get rid of it, but everything was uneven, blah, blah. So I decided, okay, about a year ago, I'm in the market for a new oven, and I did a year's research because I cook every single day. I cook as much as I'm in a car, so I thought it's got to be the same kind of investment. So I looked at this model and that model and went to umpteen showrooms and took my husband with me and we agonized. And finally, I came across what I consider to be my dream oven, which is the Ilve range, an Italian range. And um, I want to show you why I love it and, and explain all these exciting ways that you're going to see all my cooking videos from now on. So first off, beautiful, right? I wanted something that was gorgeous because I wanted to have this sort of chef's pro range look in my kitchen. So that was one thing that was important to me. Now, I needed a hood that was really powerful because I cook, um, I fry and stuff like that. And if I'm ever cooking fish, I hate the smell of fried food in my house. So this has a really powerful three vents with all these different um, strengths. Uh, it is quite loud when you put a number four, but it does an amazing job. I think one of the things that really sold me, and my husband said this is a total bell and whistle, but I don't care because I love it, is this boom and boom. I mean, hello, that is like, to me, I feel like I'm, I'm in a restaurant, like I'm a proper chef, master chef with these warming infrared lights and they are so great because when I've just finished cooking something and I call and I say to everybody dinner time I don't know if you at home ever had this problem you're slaving away everybody it's on the table or it's ready and then five minutes ten minutes particularly I have a teenage daughter and nobody's there and everything's got cold now no problem because I just set it up there and it keeps it warm without trying it out and the other thing is great is that I can um, warm my plates which is lovely without setting them alight which I used to do in the wolf range oven so let's turn those little guys off now what else do I love oh I'll tell you something that is awesome about this oven and I still haven't it's going to take me a while to really get used to it after the last um, oven experience I had this has it's dual fuel so I have gas here electric in the oven but it has nine different oven settings did I say nine different ovens oven settings so I'm spoiled for choice highlights of those oven settings it has a pizza setting so basically you just put it on it warms it to the exact degree that a pizza needs to be warmed up very hot obviously and and sets the heat on top and below in such a way that it's perfect for a crisp beautiful pizza so love that there's conventional um, cooking, there's convection cooking, there's upper element for browning, there's lower element for slow cooking, there's defrosting, there's quick start, yada yada. So love that. Still haven't finished playing with it. Then I have four burners on the top and they're all different sizes and what I love about this is that I have the little tiny burner for simmering. I do a lot of very slow simmering so that's great for that with a little pot or my tea kettle and then I have a much bigger um, burner for if I'm uh, heating uh, huge stock pots or water for cooking pasta and that cooks really really quickly now let me show you here because this is pretty cool so in the middle I did want to have a griddle I have never had a griddle before in my life I love making pancakes and I like doing a kind of teppanyaki thing because I do almost all um, vegetarian food. I do a tiny bit of fish, but mostly veg and, and, uh, vegetarian and vegan. So look at this. So I've got my cutting board right there. And then I have my griddle right here. And um, I have to cure this, by the way. So as time goes on, it's going to get that nice kind of patina uh, from curing it with salt and lemon and olive oil, apparently. Um, but this is so cool again I feel like I'm in one of those teppanyaki woolly oak restaurants but I can throw all my veggies on and my tofu and get this incredible heat going and then I've got this to prevent it splattering 
Now, the final thing that I want to share with you that I personally wanted in an oven, and I urge you to look for this if you uh, cook a lot of, if you do a lot of baking like I do, is that I couldn't decide between a one or a two oven range. And I decided on one because I wanted to put in a full size cookie sheet because I cook a lot of cookies. So there we go. I have a full size cookie sheet and I have delicious chocolate chip cookies right there, recipe underneath the video. And um, let me also just quickly show you this here. I have these nice easy pull out shelves here. I have a rotisserie um, attachment if I want to. I don't really do a lot of roast chickens or whatnot, so I won't use that so much, but great if that's your thing. And then finally, a thing that was very important for me is that it had to be super easy to clean. And this oven is very, very easy to clean with eco-friendly materials because I don't use all those toxic oven cleaners. And it's a three pane glass door, which makes it very easy to clean because you can pull those out. And last but not least, this oven, probably the most important thing to, to, for me, got an A rating in the EU for energy consumption. So it's extremely eco-friendly too. So that's my excitement about this oven. Watch this space because you're gonna see me cooking a lot on this and I'm excited to share my recipes with you.